Welcome to the Saturday Morning Muse, everyone. I'm Andy Tempty, and today is October the 14th, 2023. On Monday of this week, my brother-in-law and his sisters laid their father to rest in a brief but touching ceremony. Ray Flower led a colorful, productive, and impactful life. He was a boater, a car enthusiast, and salesperson extraordinaire for the G. Heilman Brewing Company. G. Heilman was based here in La Crosse, Wisconsin, is famous for their old-style beer, and this product was distributed all around the world, so Ray was a world traveler. Ray was also a sailor in the United States Navy and served aboard the destroyer class USS Mole during the Korean War. At his memorial service, the family displayed a wonderful commendation that Ray received for circumnavigating the globe on the mole. It was very, very cool to see. After the service, family and friends traveled to the cemetery for Ray's burial, led by the Roy L. Vengers American Legion Post No. 52 of La Crosse and the United States Navy Funeral Honor Guard. During the short burial service, Ray received a 21-gun salute along with a deeply moving presentation of the American flag to surviving family members. I had seen these presentations before, most notably at my Uncle Eric's funeral, where, as his nephew, I was presented with a spent shell casing from the 21-gun salute that he received. I keep that memento close at hand in my home office. What was different this time is how struck I was by the meaningfulness of the military honors ceremony. Ray served his country dutifully in the 1950s. Seventy years later, a core of individuals, most of whom are retired and likely did not know Ray personally, they dedicated their morning to see Ray off with a fitting salute. Wow. So today's muse is dedicated to two things. First is the life of Raymond Flower. Cheers to you, Ray. I don't have an old style with me, but if I, uh, if this was an old style, I guess we could we could imagine that it is. So, cheers to you, Ray. You are a role model to many and a difference maker during your career. Second is a huge thank you to military veterans who spend a small but meaningful portion of their time ensuring that their brothers and sisters in arms receive the send-off they deserve. One of those individuals is our dear friend Steve Knutson, who I learned after the fact was in the line providing the 21-gun salute. Thanks to all the Steve Knutsons out there who make the time to provide this valuable service. Next time you drive by a VFW and wonder what goes on inside, now you know. Respect. One last thing that I just want to comment on is uh, my heart goes out to all of the individuals, all of the humans that have been impacted by the violence uh, in Israel and in Gaza this past week. It is just heartbreaking. Uh, and my message today is on that is just to uh, think about the language that we use when we're talking about other groups of human beings, uh, especially the dehumanizing uh, language that we use throughout history. Whenever we dehumanize a group of, uh, of other human beings with our language, uh, bad things happen. Uh, so uh, I just caution us all uh, to uh, think carefully about the language that we use when we're talking about other human beings. That's it. Fairly somber episode today. But again, here's to Ray Flower. Thank you, Ray.